there was always part of Michael that was about helping out those other people over there who might have it worse, <laughs> or are similarly fucked over, or whatever. Um, and that's really stuck with me as hugely important all along, and that's really a big part of why my AIDS work, I, I could see in the evolution of the movement that the faggots are okay, they're going to look after themselves, they've got some dykes on side too, you know, and they've got a handle on this med medical thing, and, and, you know, it's going to be a rough ride, but, you know, the folks that really need help are the sex workers and the street kids and the people in jail and, you know, whatever. Um, and so I, and injecting drug users. And um, I remember there was a guy in jail, in the Don Jail, who uh, was in the sun for not getting his meds or something. I can't remember, it was the like, first time I'd heard about somebody in our local community who was a prisoner living with AIDS. And Michael was pissed right off about that, and um, he helped organize tickets outside Don Jail with me and other people. And out of that, PASAN was developed. Mm -hmm. And I carried on work with PASAN. Um, helped to write their first public paper. I did the section on anonymous testing for that first paper. And I feel really honored to hear that that organization still exists and is still doing amazing stuff. Yeah,